guys, it's Queen Ninja, and in today's video, I will be reacting for you to episode 11 of the Helpful Fox and Sign. Okay, before we get started, you know how typically anytime when I watch this dang show, I really, like, I think it was like the first episode, I only had to deal with all the logos. And so I'm like, okay, like, mm -hmm, that's fine. And then from week two to week 10, like, we're, we were good. I download today's episode, and today's effing episode has the logo, so I'm just like, you know what, fuck it, I'm not even going to, uh, skip the logos, because I think some people are gonna get, like, eh, and shit, so I'm just going to watch the damn logos for this episode, and maybe this episode only, until episode 12 comes out, but other than that, until, uh, other than that, let's go ahead and get started, <laughs> three, two, one, go. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Animation, yes. Mm -hmm. I'm hungry. Oh, spring cleaning. Yes, I got that. Oh my God! Look how pretty it is. Yes, I feel like cleaner. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the storm's coming. Yeah. I don't want the show to be over. We got one more week left. Can we just... Oh, I wish we could just rewind to when this damn show started. But I hate the fact that this is ending next week. Between this and Shield Hero, because I think this week, uh, Bochi ends... Bochi and something else ends this week, I think. Everything else ends next week. But... Mm. That's what I forgot. Fruits basket. I still have fruits basket. <laughs> oh my god. So on a Carol and Tuesday, Demon Slayer and Fruits Basket. I know there's one other show that I'm watching that collides. I don't really count the Patreon shows. No, I can't think of it. Hell, I'm gonna miss it cuddling with her tail. <laughs>
Holy shit. Damn. <laughs> Did they really have to put that she's 800 years old because of the fact that she's drinking? I still can't believe this dude was a part of one of, like, my very first etchy animes that I've watched, and... <laughs> like, I literally just rewatched that show a couple of days ago, and I still can't believe it because it doesn't sound like him! And I've known that for weeks, but damn! <laughs> scared the shit out of me. You're gonna get him drunk, unless he already is. Plum money. <laughs> no, no, don't say that. It's fine. Sometimes you just need to talk about it. Uh, yeah, there are some people who have it worse, but you're out there, that's fine. Whether you're having a good day, bad day, you want to say kind of fuck your boss, but not like that, but screw your boss. <laughs> mm 
You want to go on a rage? You want to, you know, you want to go sing karaoke? You want to go sing some death metal? Like, you know, let's go. We can do that. Yeah, I remember being that drunk. <laughs> Seriously? I know, right? <laughs> I mean, you know, you could also learn how to cook, and that would be fine. But then you gotta remember, this is Ronco I'm talking about, and Ronco don't like to fucking cook. <laughs> So, what happened? You get to take off and get some sleep. Regulate your body, go on a run, something. <laughs> Put the hot things. Yeah. That too, so third trip. Seriously? You guys are seriously gonna go to the supermarket as a trip? After the plumb line. Why is this so long? It's not the work that I. Oh. 
Why don't you go home inside? It's okay. It's a different time. Family's more important. But inside, you know, she's upset. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she's 800 years old. She'll be fine. She's got Jessica right next door, so. <laughs> Maybe she should take the work phone and you take the smartphone. Hold the fuck up. Yeah, that is. Oh my god. <laughs> that is that fucking statue. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> I've only seen that statue once, and that was in a fucking picture, and it had fucking Nana's outfit on. <laughs> oh shit. Mm hmm. Was not expecting that. <laughs> Did I get it? Oh, Jesus. It's just it's time for her to go. Yeah, please get your laundry. Damn. Just like that, really? Just like that. And he's gonna come home. No. <laughs>
You can't fuck that. No. <laughs> so now what? I mean, God damn it. I, was I expecting her to leave in this episode? Not really. But then I kept thinking of what Soda said last week and how something bad was going to happen. Not only with, like, his dad, also her. And now she's gone. Uh, and then he's gonna rush home into like the last fucking episode and he's gonna realize that she's not there even though he's calling her oh my god no this fucking hurts why did you do this what the hell is wrong with y'all Did you have to hurt my heart today? Like, seriously, honestly, between what the fuck happened in Shield Hero and this episode? I didn't want this. I, I did not want this today. <laughs> Thank God I ain't cry, because, I, I mean, we all know anytime I fucking say, oh, I'm not gonna cry today, I end up fucking crying, but thank God I ain't say I ain't fucking gonna cry today. But I feel like next week I will cry. A lot. I don't like this. I don't like this at all. This is so messed up. Oh, that looks bad. She reminds me too much of Nosey from Love Live. I mean, because yes, like, Nosey is my best girl, and she's the sexual one of Muse. So, I mean, it makes fucking sense. But, okay, to end the episode like that, and then just to, uh, we gotta wait a fucking week. Can, can it just be next week now? I mean, can we just skip tomorrow? And Friday and Saturday and even Sunday, even though I'm waiting for Sunday to come because goddamn big little lies. Just come to next Wednesday because I can't wait. Like, a whole week is too damn long for me. And just to know that, like, she ain't answered the phone. He's going to run home to see if she's there. She's not going to be there. And there's no other way for him to get where she is. Unless she goes, he goes back to the temple and, like, 
screams her name and just is like, come back home, come and stay with me and be with me. I, I mean, like, that is a little selfish. But then at the same time, I'm sitting here thinking, like, okay, well, then why, you know, can't he be with her and be in her world and such? But he's a human and she's a Debbie Fox and so it can't happen. This is more, like, see, this is like, ugh. This is sad. Why are we, why do we have, like, I mean, they're not really in love and stuff, but they do act like star-crossed lovers. And come on, man, like, don't, don't be. Do not be fucking stingy and give me a bullshit anime this week, even though I know it's not going to do that. It's not going to be like some other animes that I've seen. I hope it kind of gives me like a Kobayashi ending where it's still just nice, happy, happy and shit, and then I can just be like, yes, yeah, okay, give me season two. But, oh my god. I knew something bad was going to happen. Hell, I think I even said it last week. But, uh. I'm stumped, and I, I hate it. I hate it so much, and just, this hurts. This fucking hurts, and I hate this. I just wish he didn't say, oh, hey, go be with your family. But, like, no, he wants to be with you. He wanted to go to the supermarket in hell. She was like, oh, yeah, the supermarket will always be there. But, like, you kind of give me a hint saying, yes, the supermarket will always be there. But you, you, Senko, will not be here. And I hate that. Like, uh, I mean, at the same time, it's just like, why didn't you just come out and say it to him saying that, you know, will be my last day spending time with you and because of what happened to your dad you should be with your family and not me <laughs> my heart just fuck my damn heart hurts so fucking much. Senko, what the fuck? Other than that, guys, that is my reaction to you towards episode 11 of the Helpful Fox Senko Son. If you guys enjoyed it, please stop fucking raining. Please give me a like, it really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the match squad, and of course, I will see you guys all officially next Wednesday for the finale. Bye, guys.